Streaming live, this is News 12 Now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandria Savage and you're watching News 12 Now. It's been a while since we've been here, but it is time to get back on track. We're going to start things off with a live interview regarding uh, Louisiana Compulsive Gambling, uh, Louisiana Association of Compulsive on Compulsive Gambling. We've got Executive Director Miss Janet Miller with us. Hello, Janet. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to News 12 Now. Thank you for joining us. Certainly. I'm excited to join you because it, tomorrow kicks off Problem Gambling Awareness Month. And that's a nationwide grassroots campaign to make sure that everybody understands during the month of March that there are problems sometimes for some people who have a gambling problem or addiction. Absolutely. Now, Ms. Janet, tell us a little bit about um, some of the signs of a compulsive gambler. I think some of the things that we look for or ask people to look for with their loved ones or themselves is if they're starting to spend money that is um, unlike discretionary income, if they're spending bill money or money that they um, had put back for savings or retirement or mortgage. What we want to also look at is a personality change. When you gamble, do you change? Do you uh, bet longer or more often? Do you uh, bet money that you don't necessarily had incurred or decided to do in the beginning? So you want to be able to stay within your limits. And all of us um, can do that generally. But if there might be a problem or an addiction to gambling, sometimes you might lose that control. Absolutely. Now, if you're noticing some of these signs within yourself, what are some resources you all offer to help? Well, our state has uh, statewide counseling and also the helpline. We have the Louisiana Problem Gambling Helpline 1-877-770-STOP that people can call. It's listed on any type of gambling or uh, venues that people see across the state as they're traveling on billboards or they gamble themselves in the back of a lottery ticket they'll have the helpline number and we actually answer that for the state and then there's also core the residential treatment center in Shreveport that helps people that are from Louisiana receive treatment for their gambling addiction free and it's successful it's been going on for thousands of people here to get them and their families back on track and then also we have 10 offices throughout the state that provide free uh, gambling certified treatment and prevention help and trainings for people who also need some assistance in that area. <coughs> Absolutely. And so, Ms. Janet. Yes, ma'am. What are some of the things we have to look forward to this month for Problem Gambling Awareness Month? Well, what we decided to do tomorrow is the beginning of uh, March Madness runs in this month, and they used to say that that was the longest betting season of uh, sports. And so now we know with online and sports wagering that changed everything a couple years ago. So what we decided to do on the very first day of March is do a kickoff chocolate and coffee party at CORE. So people can come by from 4 to 6 p.m. tomorrow at 635 Stoner Avenue and enjoy some chocolate from different chocolatiers across the city. Bakers have donated. And we're also going to have Rhino coffee. We're going to have iced coffee and hot coffee. And then at 4 o'clock, we're having a media event for both mayors, Chandler and Arsenault, have agreed to come by and present their proclamations that they themselves will support us as the governor has in the proclamation to let this month be the focus and the help that we can give to people even more so than any other month of the year on problem gambling. Awesome. Well, we definitely look forward to that event, Ms. Miller. Thank you so much for joining us Thank once you. again. Can you give people the phone number for you all one more time? The phone number to call is one 770 stop They can also now call 1-800-GAMBLER. That's a new nationwide number that we ourselves in Louisiana are using, and it routes here to Shreveport to our helpline center. 
Well, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Alexandria, for having us today. Anytime. I appreciate you, Janet. I look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Come for the chocolate tomorrow at four. You do not have to tell me twice. <laughs> there you go. All right.